Hi, Lester, Wish You Engineer. So, some of you may be aware of the fact that we, uh, at uh, both both here at the Wish You Engineer channel and also at uh, the Martial Arts Research and Testing Laboratory that uh, we also we also run, we uh, we have a great interest and uh, and passion for scientific investigation of um, the practices and training methods used in uh, in particular in our case in traditional martial arts but really all all martial arts and combat practice combat training practice and uh, we've just just got back recently uh, today from uh, the uh, University of Southern Queensland uh, sports and exercise science laboratory in, in Ipswich where my uh, wife and training partner Sherilyn is uh, beginning her master's uh, research project and uh, what we are researching um, is uh, it, it's it's a master's topic so it's not as in-depth as we are we would like to eventually take this uh, this uh, research path but um, what it is is still very interesting especially for uh, those of you out there who are traditional martial artists and who do some form of internal training. So what we are doing is we are investigating the connection between intra-abdominal pressure and uh, external force produced by the human body. So today was really just a, sort of a, a, an introduction to the type of pro, uh, procedures that we would be carrying out during the testing, which is going to occur next year, um, and, uh, and an opportunity to kind of get our hands dirty to, uh, to work with some of the tests and equipment that, that we're going to be using. Um, I had the pleasant experience of having uh, two balloon catheters shoved up my right nostril down into my esophagus and stomach in order to monitor intra-abdominal pressure while I did a couple of test um, uh, movements and, uh, and breathing exercises just to see uh, what, kind of, um, what kind of connection there was. And, the, and, and it, at, at the moment it looks, it looks very promising and very interesting, um, but we'll of course have to wait and see um, when the actual study starts uh, proceeding next year. Uh, when the actual uh, uh, testing and uh, and uh, data analysis happens next year, it's going to be really exciting, and we hope uh, a stepping stone um, it to uh, a better understanding in future of some of the more some uh, unfortunately what has been labelled as more esoteric practices in in traditional martial martial arts. But for those of you out there who actually practice internal a true internal martial arts as a as a um, as a practical fighting skill you will know as well as I do that these are very physical phenomena that uh, that have very real-world effects and this is uh, perhaps one step closer to um, actually uh, studying these real-world effects in relation to the the internal processes that are that are driving them so uh, we are both very excited, very passionate about this idea and uh, really looking forward to, to sinking our teeth into the actual uh, main study um, next year. But for the moment, I will leave you with some uh, fun video footage of us uh, playing around in the, uh, in, in the USQ um, lab at, at Ipswich. Uh, cheers for now and I'll see you next time. Something called lignocaine or lidocaine, I guess. Uh, once again, not the one. Enough. Those are the two active ingredients. <laughs> it's pretty rare, like, anyway. I've never come across anyone. Anyway. Yep, alright. Now, I won't go in for it. So, one, two, three. Oh, no, I think it's a little Cool. Thanks for that. Don't worry if you've got kind of you'll, you'll get snot on that come down here. Don't worry, it's completely normal to go and that. <coughs> that stuff stick to clothes or
it? Yeah, it's all right. That's the stuff I always used to use. Um, I don't even know what this stuff is really made out of, but I'm allergic to like KY, eh? But you know. Do you mean taken internally? No, I wouldn't know, probably not. <laughs> I don't think it really comes with any allergy warnings in the helmet. So is the uh, martial arts the hobby or the job, by the way? It's actually a job. Oh, uh, one of them. I'm also an engineer. Okay, hang on. I'm just double checking which is which, because I'm not going to get in the water. So that is... It's going to be a bit of an unusual job to get into. Can't be that many of you doing it professionally. Not that. Quite a few. Yeah? Yeah. There's no real governing body for martial arts in at least not in Queensland, certainly not really in Australia either. So, so can you just practice them without anybody? <laughs> Anyone can claim that they're, oh, the, can they? that they're mm. master grand high, what can you do whatever they want. Well, I imagine that's quite frustrating, isn't it? It is it's frustrating yeah. for people yeah. who want to do it professionally, yes. Yeah. So many people make the claim? Yes. Oh. I guess like well, after episode. watching a couple of sort of kung fu movies and then they just say well yeah yeah they're, they're people who have been self-taught from watching YouTube videos and all kinds of, <laughs> and, but then they're the actual they're the actual showmen who who uh, who claim to be able to do supernatural things but are really just doing sort of Chris Angel style yeah. street magic <laughs> And getting like <laughs> millions of followers as, or on their on their channel. Make a lot of money out of that YouTube, don't they? I was the thing last night about that now. Okay. Okay. Four now, so ten. Yeah. Um, it don't end you. At least we're working a job with nice qualifications, right? Like, it's hard. It's mm -hmm. still yeah. some cracks in there. Yeah. Um, do you want to just spin around this a bit? Yeah. Uh, it takes all the natural curvature after they've been used a few times, mm. but. Yeah, I'm not flying. I can feel it. Right? Yeah. Well, that's the sign. So, I keep the water. So, now little chips, so not much quantity, but big, over exaggerated gulps for me. And just one after the other. So, one sip, swallow, sip, swallow. Wouldn't even take the straw out. Yeah, just keep the straw in there. Just keep all those gulps. Fantastic. Well Start's going to really work. Excellent. I'm just going to speed it up now past that bit. Okay. <coughs> and done. Excellent. Well done. How was that? <coughs> Very straight. Straight old, old <laughs> sensation. Yeah, I'm going to just push that with your right hand. So nice and close to the nostril so it's not ripping around on it. Yeah. The things we do. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon this is going to catch on for Christmas. Mm. Everyone's going to want to. Everyone's going to want. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah, you can do your do, do your maneuvers and stuff now. Yeah. I still think where it looks a lot better. Oh, that's Push, is it? We'll just follow the push. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot better than it. Yeah, something's happening there. That's pretty good. Oh. That's good. Well, there you go. There is yeah. a correlation between that and the force that I'm producing. Yeah. But we haven't measured before. We haven't measured before. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? I can just feel it. Yeah, yeah. That's what we need to do next, is set up that to measure force. Yeah.